This second grader from Pflugerville has been overwhelmed by media requests as he made headlines around the world this week. We showed you on Monday he emptied his piggy bank, giving a mosque that had been vandalized with feces $20. New at 9, KXAN's David Scott reports Jack Swanson's kindness has inspired many others to also reach out in support. It's been a wild and bewildering week for seven-year-old Jack Swanson. Little did he guess that his simple, gracious gesture on Monday would spark worldwide response. Jack was on the BBC this morning on the New York Post this afternoon. He's aware of the fuss. How does that make your heart and your head feel? It makes me feel happy that people are inspired by me. You have inspired a lot of people. Now, what about all this media fuss? Are you going to do everything that you're offered, or are you just going to pick a couple? Pick a couple. Others are paying it forward. Strangers leave flowers at the mosque. If I worshipped here, uh, met here, I'd want to know that, um, that I had friends in the community and that I had support. The vet clinic next door has gotten to know their Muslim neighbors much better. They've always been wonderful neighbors to us as long as we've been here the two and a half years and, and you know there's just no good reason for what happened other than fear. The Swansons have been fielding local network and international requests from TV, radio and newspapers. They're aware Jack's kindness has spread. It's quite overwhelming. I think it's great. I think people need hope and I think people need good things to focus on and I'm I'm happy that my kid got to be a part of that. But Laura Swanson doesn't want her kids to get a swelled head out of all this. I want my kids to learn and keep doing those little quiet good deeds that nobody's ever going to know about. But, but yeah, I know it's been crazy. Don't worry. Jack's heart and head are in the right place. I would put it in a way that people could all, all, all understand it in, in a certain way that people could know what was going on. And get along. Yeah. David Scott. KXAN News. Other members of the community have decided to come together to show support this weekend. So far, more than 200 people have RSVP'd to a Facebook event. The event's Saturday at 4.30, and they plan to gather in the parking lot of the mosque. You can find a link with this story at KXAN.com.